When my students go to the laboratory, one of the things they're looking for is some sort of visual signal, letting them know that a chemical reaction is occurring. What I have here is a couple of very quick and easy uh, acid base demonstrations to show you color changes in a laboratory, illustrating it. Okay, we're going to start with a piece of glass tubing. You can actually use plastic tubing. Size and diameter isn't really important, but you want to play around with it before you really do this. And I've already made a solution of deionized water with universal indicator in it. I like a lot of universal indicator. I want my colors to be as vivid as possible. So not just a few drops. And you have to remember that when you add this solution to the tube, it's going to be, um, you're be going to be looking through a, th a thinner uh, diameter tubing, and so it's not going to have the same color intensity. That's why I make it as vibrant as you can. All right, let's pour this in. Notice how I'm pouring. I've got the stopper on the tabletop there so that it's not going to slip out. And I'm going to pour, filling the, the uh, tube with the universal indicator solution, almost to the top, not quite. Got just a little bit too much there. So I'm going to pour just a little bit back in. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to take a pipette that contains 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. And I'm going to add just a couple of drops of hydrochloric acid to the surface here. I should see a red change in color because acid in a universal indicator solution should give you red. Now, this is important. I'm going to leave the stopper here because I'm going to push the top stopper in, and I don't want to cause that pushing motion to push the lower stopper out. Many times I've had this whole solution dumped on the floor in front of me. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to invert it once. Removing the top stopper now, I'm going to take a second pipette, which has 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide in it. Sodium hydroxide in a universal solution is going to give us a deep blue to purple color. I'm going to add about four drops. Looks pretty purple. Three. Again, inserting the stopper. Now all I'm going to do is a couple of rotations, making sure that I have the stoppers firmly inserted. I'm going to take the tube and invert. Now I'm going to stop right there. Look at what we've got. Pretty much a very nice color rainbow. We have at the top our most acidic solutions, deep red. We have moving down through a faint orange, not very much there, but there's a little bit of yellow, moving into the greens, then into the blues, and into the purples. So you see all the pHs um, from the very acidic pHs to the very basic pHs being illustrated. And this tube will hold the colors for quite a while. So you have your pH rainbow. It uses very little chemicals. It's quick and easy to do. A second demonstration is very similar. And I first read about this demonstration in the Journal of Chemical Education. It was written by the late Howard Moore, who was teaching at Florida International University. And I thought it was kind of clever. Now, what he does is this. He's going to take a solution that is acidic and add to it some universal indicator. So, acid here. This is 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. And a little universal indicator to make a nice red coloration. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more universal, make the color more vibrant. And then I'm just going to pour this into a small test tube. 
I'm going to do this over the sink carefully. I'm going to leave a little space at the top. Now, I've adapted this from the way Howard first did this. When he did it, he was working with young children. And instead of using hydrochloric acid, he used an acidic solution that was more suitable for children. He used vinegar. And then he used a solution that was very basic. And I'm using a solution of sodium carbonate. And it's, been, it's fairly saturated so that it's very dense. If I take and fill a pipette, with the sodium carbonate. What I'm going to do now is just let some of the sodium carbonate move down the sides of the test tube. Because of the high density, this should go to the end of the test tube. And it's going to react with the solution that's there, making the bottom of the test tube much more basic. You can already see some of the color the purple developing at the bottom. And then he would just encourage the children to play with this vinegar solution that he was using. And the sodium carbonate, you can almost buy a pretty decent solution of sodium carbonate at your grocery store in the laundry section. Um, something like a 20 mule team borax, read the labels. And I think it's important that students look at labels in their grocery store. So we see a little bit of color developing here. I'm going to stop for just a second, hold this up against the white background, and you'll see the clear portion at the bottom, which is caused by the sodium carbonate, which is just so dense. I have a layer of sodium carbonate there. But even in that very small section, you can see the deep purple at the bottom, which indicates your strong base. I can see a faint line of the green, which is going to be closer to a neutral pH. There's a line of yellow, which is on the acidic side, and then quite a bit of the orange color above it. You can just play around with this. Add a couple of drops on the top. See what happens. Because of the density, the solution is going to settle, changing where the colors are, are going to be found, and how much of the purple, the green, the yellow you would have. How about the mixing action, too? Just a little squirt here, and then I'm just going to let it settle. We'll see what we've got. The fun part about it is that no student's going to have the exact same colors appearing. But this is not a bad rainbow. We've got the deep purple on the bottom, blues to green above that, then the yellow for the slight acidic pH, going back up into the red, which is the more acidic solution. And being able to do this with something as, similar, as, as uh, simple as vinegar, sodium carbonate, easy, quick to do, showing your pH rainbows.